Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. All I can say about what you're about to see is it's about time. About time somebody made a watch like this. What is it? It's called the SN80. It's from Bakey. It's a 1.3 inch IPS, really bright, full touch screen, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, all those things, weather forecasts when you're tethered to your phone. Um, wait till you see it and what it's made out of and how well it's built. Oh, and it's full IP68 waterproof. It even has uh, swimming as one of the functions. So you got all that covered as well. In terms of specs, we're doing Bluetooth 4.2 or above, which is great. Uh, it tethers to DaFit. Now, I'm not going to go into the app today because we've done this many times before. I'll have the link to the DaFit app and a reference to other watches we've reviewed where I've talked about that app if you want to see it in action. Here's all of your languages. Here's all the things it supports. Got some great sensors in this one. And... G sensor, heart rate sensor. I think it's even got a, a light sensor as well. And it's got a 60 day standby time. Here it says 20 days, but uh, in the overall product literature, it's saying 60 days. And use time 10. Anyway, it's a long, long time. Uh, check it out when you um, play with it. And you're going to find that this thing will last a really long time with a very bright screen. And its operation is smooth. So let's get into it and check it out. Right up front, telling you, water resistant to IP68. I've had it out of here and I put it back in so you guys could see the unboxing. It comes inside a little space here with its own little cover that comes off and revealing a very nice bezel. Um, zinc type of a plating around the outside. A, a, a light markings of an inner bezel, single button on the side, carbon fiber, they call it 5D carbon fiber backing on this one. The heart rate diode charging port, removable, really incredible bands. They are super soft, they're two-tone, lots of holes you can fit easily on your arm. We'll see that in a moment. Um, Man, I like this band. I'd like to get an extra band like this and put it on a couple of my other watches. Let's turn it on. And a few seconds. It should light up, vibrates, and there we are. And the classic watch face it starts with. It's got the twist your wrist to see the time and all of that stuff. Comes with its little magnetic charger. That is a two pin. Simply get it right the first time and slap it on and... Not strong enough to hold the watch, but strong enough to hold it in place. Just make sure you got it on there good. Charge it up before your first use like I have, and you'll get a really nice screen with one or two or three different uh, versions on there. We have a user manual that comes with it. Gives you the QR code for DaFit, or like I said, check the show notes under the video, and you can link right over to it. Gives you some background information on connecting the watch. This is actually a pretty decent manual. If you're really bored and want a manual to read, this might be a good one because it gives some overview about tethering and, um, and other stuff. It, it, all the different things it, uh, it does, it's sports mode, breath training. The weather report doesn't show up until you're tethered, so I'm not going to be able to show it to you today because I'm not. We're doing an unboxing right out of the box. It's got music control, though, and message notifications when you are tethered. And here's all your other stuff that you can get into um, just for controlling the device. Now, it's got some interesting um, Q&A in here. Why the watch can't receive the notifications. Maybe it'll talk about that. I'm letting you freeze frame this and read it at your leisure rather than read it to you. Getting to know your device. Why can't you wear it to take a bath or hot springs or a sauna? You don't ever want to wear any watch for that. The hot water, the steam can penetrate. And then an interesting thing to worth, worth a read about why the blood pressure data is different from a watch than from the arm uh, cuff style. Um, so they're, they're covering that kind of stuff in a variety of languages. Okay, let's uh, clear it out and turn it on. Again, tapping the button 
We'll turn it on or bring it back up if it's timed out. And we navigate through this one uh, uh, through swiping on the screen. When you swipe down, you get into your message area. When you're tethered, any messages waiting for you that have been transferred over through Bluetooth will show up here. Easy to read, bright yellow against the black background. When we get to brightness, you can see how bright we can make this. These will be readable outdoors. Notice that you have the time on every screen. It's a really nice addition. Press the button, you're back right here again, not having to go find it. Okay, but it does time out quickly. Come back here to the watch face, go over to the left, and you get the version number and your MAC address and your power level. And press to the right, and you get this whole page here, where you can use this tethered to your phone to activate a shutter so you can use the... Uh, the switch function on here to take a picture with your camera. It's a remote camera type of thing. You've got a timer on here that you can use as a stopwatch and it pauses it, it looks like, when you bail out of it. It's not running in the background. You can pause it manually and if you leave here, one press doesn't do anything. There we go. Come back into it. Yeah, and it's paused. It doesn't clear it, but it basically pauses it for you. And of course, you can reset it. Whoops, double tap there if you want to right here. But it does keep your time. And then brightness. I want to you know, check this guy out, guys. We, we got kind of an orange glow. When I lower it down here and I lower it one more, it gets super dim. Perfect for nighttime. Really, I mean, I can barely see it there. I don't know if you guys can even see it at all, but it is lit up. And so you've got an excellent deep, deep night mode if you want to wear this to bed. You can brighten it and brighten it and brighten it. Now, that is totally washed out. It's like looking yellow on here, but it's still orange. Outdoors, this is going to be easily readable. I'm keeping it at a level two for you guys for the video right now. You have another screen on here where you can change the style of the watches, reset and power off. Style is the watch face. We have three of them. There's that one, and then there's this cool one, and look at this. There's a missing thing here. When you're tethered and you have weather, weather will show up there. Otherwise, you've got heart rate, blood pressure, dis uh, kilometers burned, uh, distance traveled, kilometers, step count. I mean, all of this stuff is in here, including battery percentage and little circles and time down at the bottom. Yep. And then we've got another one that's just kind of a digital watch face. The one I keep it on typically is this one because I want to be able to see the time easily outdoors and everything else I can get to by scrolling through it. Date, um, distance traveled, and number of steps in your step count. And that's all here when you swipe that way. We've done that way. We've done that way. Are you ready? I want you to see the graphics on this one. Are you ready? Are you watching? I know a lot of you do other things and just listen to me jabberwalk, but this is one to look at for right now. For a moment, check this out. Look at the 3D graphics of these different uh, icons that they're using for the data on here. I just got to keep going. That's all. Here's heart rate, and it just vibrated activated and when I have this thing on I don't have to push any more buttons I've just got to swipe to get into that mode once I'm there it's going to make the reading you see it's the number three thing in swiping it's heart rate the time is at the top and uh, the graphic is right there and it's giving me my heart rate I swipe again I get into a training area we'll come back to that here's blood pressure just vibrated it's going to do that again here is blood oxygen and again, vibrated and went right into it. No delays, nothing to wait for. A breathing thing for breath training is in this one. There's a player for remote playing your music, and you're back to the very beginning. Now, I skipped over training. So when I go in here, how do I do this? Swipe it, yeah. These are the different training actions that you got. Walking, running, and cycling. There's no GPS now. So it's basing step count to get you the walking and running. And these other different things are primarily going to be calories burned versus time based on typically what those activities are. But that's all in the training section itself right there. 
So you've seen the watch faces. You've seen all of the different activities it can do. You've seen all of the functions here. The only thing missing is the DoveFit app. And I'm telling you, all you got to do is uh, download that from the link in the show notes and tether this thing to it. And all the data you're collecting here can transfer over to that app. And you can set it up for 24-hour heart rate monitoring and all of that stuff. All in all, it's a really quality watch, quality band. Looks great on thin, lightweight, bright, dim. It's a... It's a winner. It's a really decent watch. 116 beats per minute. It better be, huh? <laughs> I was moving all around, so I wouldn't trust that reading. Anyway, making this one short for you. I know you're busy. Uh, the SN80 from Bakey. It's available from Banggood. Check the show notes for a discount. Give us a thumbs up if you don't mind. And we do appreciate your subscription and telling your friends who are hanging out doing nothing that there's a lot they can learn about smartwatches at smartwatchticks.com. We'll see you again soon, and thanks for watching.